Eight in ten Singaporeans who were hospitalized for treatments and less complex surgeries paid $100 or less out of pocket after MediShield Life and other government subsidies take effect. Senior Minister of State for Health, Kopo Kuhn, revealed this in Parliament as he reiterated that MediShield Life is targeted at helping patients with more costly bills, even as premiums for the scheme are set to go up by about a third next year. I think it's important to remember my emphasis that this is universal, this is for life, and importantly, no Singaporean will be denied coverage if you cannot pay premiums. We will find means to subsidise, to cover with Medifund or additional premium support if needed. Dr Koh also responded to questions from MPs on the upcoming premium increase for MediShield Life. MP for a West Coast GRC, Fumi Ha, asked if a transport or transparent framework rather for premium hikes could be developed, to which Dr Ko said it's difficult, given that healthcare costs and medical advancements cannot be predicted. Opposition MPs Leong Min Wai and Gerald Gao called for more transparency and asked for the actual or actuarial report to be made public to provide clarity on how premiums and payouts are calculated. Dr. Ko said the key information is already published on the Health Ministry's website. Can I urge the government to release a report like this so that independent actuaries can analyse it? This will go a long way to improve transparency and help Singaporeans understand the calculations behind the MediShield's premiums and benefits, instead of being asked to take the government's word for it. The answer should be, don't just take the government's word for it. Take the words of the professionals who are experts in this field. So I would say that MediShield Life premiums are proposed and calculated by external actuaries. That means they are independent of the government, they are a set of actuarial consultants who craft up the series of premiums that we, they think based on data and assumptions that they made that would be fair to charge to the policyholders.